one epic out of... Okay, here we go. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. So we pulled... I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> What's up, guys? It's Techno Viking 23 coming to you today with some Raid Shadow Legends. Uh, we're kind of back trying to put some videos together for the game. So thought we'd start off with the cheapest and easiest type of raid video to make. I thought we'd do some shard pulls. <laughs> so <laughs> a little bit of a disclaimer. Uh, I don't usually like to make these types of videos because I don't like to feel like I'm ever influencing anyone to want to have to go and buy or pull shards in the game. But we're doing these on my free-to-play accounts for that reason exactly. These are not shards that we paid for. These are shards that we just kind of saved up as we play the game. We're on the main free-to-play account here to start with, which I've been playing for almost three years now. And I'm at the point on this account where I don't really pull shards that often. Uh, you can see here we've actually got 46 saved up. This is basically... I think the last time I pulled shards was for uh, the fusion, for a great hoof Loriaka, I guess is how you say that. But uh, basically on this free-to-play account now, uh, I don't really go for any shard events anymore. I save all my shards uh, for if there's a fusion champion that comes out that I want to get. So I can go ahead and make sure I'm going to get that champion. So quite honestly, I should probably be saving these for the upcoming Newt fusion, or however you say the new guy's name. But... Um, 2x Ancients are one of the few times I will still pull shards for one very simple reason, and there is a single epic champion that I still need on this account after almost three years that is driving me crazy, and that is Seeker. Um, this is an account, I don't know if you guys remember when we did the free-to-play series, we still have traditional clan boss teams on this account that we use to 2 and 3 key Ultra Nightmare. Um, we have really not been able to build an unkillable or anything cool yet because... The one champion that enables like all of these unkillable comps is usually Seeker. I have some of the other pieces where I could build an unkillable team. Probably like 11 or 12 different unkillable teams I could put together if I had a Seeker. But for whatever reason, he refuses to drop on this free-to-play account. Um, I got him very early on my main account. was able to build a bad ear with like six or seven months into the game on that account. And it's I've been using that same team lazily ever since. Would love to be able to build an automatic unkillable team for this account to just one key Ultra Nightmare every single day because I've been lazy here with Raid recently and I haven't really gotten around to you know changing gear out on champions and building a team that could probably do it anyways just traditionally. So we're going to try to get a Seeker. That's really the one thing we want today. And when I'm done on this account, I'm actually going to go to the other free-to-play account we started in 2023 because I have pretty much the same amount of shards on that account because on uh, free-to-play it's very important to save your ancients for these events so you can try to go for those good epic champions. So we'll probably jump over to that account and check out those shards as well. But let's go ahead and pull these and see if we can get anything decent here. Start off with these singles. We'll just get it down to 40. I had to make some space here. Wait, what am I doing? Oh, it's the wrong... Okay, maybe that's good luck. We pulled the mystery shard. Maybe that'll be a, a good luck charm. All right, so we got the 2x here. Let's make sure we're on the right shards. Jeez, do you even play raid? And we got a 10x for Theodore, which would actually be kind of cool. I don't have him on any of my accounts. Um, he's a pretty good poison champion. Allows some pretty cool stuff. So who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll get one of him. It's been a while since I pulled a legendary on this account. And we're starting off with Ordinator... No good. And Flesh Eater. Nothing we would want on this account. This account's been playing, like I said, for quite a while. Runic Warder. No good. Halfway decent early game Fire Knight champ, but nothing we would even want here. Fortress Goon. One of the funnier names in the game. Again, nothing we need. Okay, where are where are the epics? Isn't it a 2x? Lumberer. Alright, one more, then we'll yank some tin poles here, see if we can get a seeker. And a campaign rare, that's always fun. We're getting points. There's a champion chase tournament. I'm surprised they don't have summon rush this week. There's this weekend. There's been so many summon events lately. Alright, let's see if we can get a seeker. If not Seeker, we're hoping to get some newer legendaries. One of the problems I've been having on all my accounts is every time I pull a legendary. Oh, what do we got? Oh, I was just about to say it's a duplicate, and this is a duplicate. I think that's the second or third Tomb Lord I've pulled on this account. 
that honestly just drives me nuts. Uh, there's so many legendaries in the game, and when you just pull duplicates all the time, it just feels so terrible. So that's another one on this account, which is rare on the free-to-play, but we actually are starting to get quite a few duplicates on the free-to-play account. Not, not anywhere near as many that I have on my main account, but it's really frustrating, especially on this account, to pull those champions um, and wind up getting two. Because really, there's usually no reason to build two of them. All right, so we're getting nothing here. This is pretty pretty rough. I think this is our last 10, and it looks like we're going to continue to go on without a Seeker on the account. So even with pulling the Legendary, there's nothing here to really get excited for, for me. And again, this is why I usually stay away from these events now. Because uh, you get to a point in your account where you just become kind of apathetic to Shard pulls because there's really nothing you can pull uh, that's going to get you excited. We definitely don't care about Soulstone deals. All right, let's go in here, and I'm pretty sure... It's funny because I think I pulled two Tomb Lords on this account, but I fed one of them off like years ago, so way before the dupe system is in place. So let's go ahead and put them in there, at least get the plus 10 HP. But you can see here we've got a couple dupes here. We're kind of lucky in that we did the second Kaimar is always useful. So that's, and I don't have a Kaimar on my main account, so that's kind of the running joke there. So Night Rev, we've got two Mollies. Let's see, what else have we pulled here? I thought we had a couple more. Yeah, we've got uh, two Taturas. We've got uh, two Cupidus, two Bivalds. And then we've got two Valkyries, which is actually, I actually just pulled, this was my last legendary I pulled, I think on this account was this Valkyrie here. So interesting, we're starting to stack up some of the duplicates now um, on this account, but still, no seeker anywhere on here. It's very frustrating. So it's a real shame. We got a lot of legendaries down here too that we haven't even really been able to work on. Kind of the problem of the free to play lifestyle is you've got all the champions, but you don't have the resources to really build them up. But that's going to kind of be the sharp pulls on the main free to play. It's kind of disappointing. We still do not have a seeker yet on this account. We will go ahead and jump over to the other free-to-play and see if we can get anything decent over there. All right, so here we are over on the free-to-play 2023 account. This is the account we started earlier this year that we've been kind of going through and doing the free-to-play thing again. Uh, it's been a while since we took a look at this account, so I probably should update you guys on what we've been up to uh, in terms of the champions that we have. Uh, you can kind of see we've been able to get a couple more Six star champions here. We've got our clan boss team, pretty much three king nightmare now. Um, the biggest addition we really got was Calvalax. And I think I pulled him on the last 2x ancients we had. And cool champion. I've never actually had him on any of my accounts, so it's kind of fun to have him on this one. He's been a huge boost uh, to the clan boss team, helping out in other areas like Dragon, just with all the poisons he can put out. He's helped me on Ice Golem. So we've been able to progress a little bit just by picking him up. Uh, we did finish the Razzle Varg Fusion. That was a while back. I haven't really done anything with him. As you can see, he's still level 33. We don't have a lot of resources, obviously, to invest in multiple champions. That's something that's kind of becoming a problem on this account, which I'll get into here in just a minute. Now, we do have Artac, who we got for free just for logging in. We've already kind of put him into a little bit of a build here because we're going to be using him for Spider Dungeon. Uh, we're on Spider 15 right now. we got to try to start making teams that we can push uh, through 20. Getting that HP burn was really big because before my idea was I was going to have to use Chani's HP burn and then spread it with Harkin Great Blade. I may still do that team just to do a video about it because that's actually one of the few ideas I have right now for putting together a video is um, do an HP burn spread on Spider 20, which I've done a video before using Geomancer and Harkin Great Blade, but it's been a long time since I did it, so it'd be kind of cool to update that. Um, so that may be something we still try, but having uh, our tech in the mix now is going to make things so much better and so much easier. So we're going to start having, having to work on that spider team pretty soon. We did get a Tayrell who on an account this early can probably have some pretty decent impact. You'll notice we're starting to get some better gear too here. We're about, about four and a half months, I think, on this account. So we're finally at the point where we've been grinding some of the 20 dungeons. We're starting to get some six star gear. Uh, we got Cavalax uh, and Lifesteal because it's on our clan boss team. But you can see here we've got pretty much, uh, you know, some decent six-star pieces. Uh, we even got a triple speed roll here on the shield. So we're starting to get some decent gear for the account, which has been pretty cool. 
You can see we did pull Reliquary Tender. She's a really solid Void Rare. Uh, we got to build up our Genbo here so we can start pushing into Arena a little bit further. Um, right now, we're kind of just doing Gold 2, Gold 3 usually, so it's been a little difficult to build up those medals. We have been able to get up to level 8 on one Great Hall bonus for Arbiter missions, and now we're working on getting up to level 9. Uh, we did pull Sinesha on the last 2x Ancients, really solid champion. And I mean, we've got a Virgis here. We've got a lot of really good epics that we're starting to get. We've got Tagore. Uh, we get a, did get a second Cold Heart on the last of 2x Voids. Uh, we kind of cleaned house on the last 2x Voids, which is unfortunately a bit of an issue because, again, lack of resources. I mean, we've got Two Hawk. We got a Paidma. She's amazing. We're going to definitely be building her up for some Doom Tower stuff. Uh, we got a Godseeker in Neri. We got a Silar um, from the last 2x Voids. Like I said, the other Cold Heart there, and we've already got a Cold Heart at 6-star. We do have a Renegade now as well, so we're actually going to be able to start putting together, I think, a pretty fast Spider 20 team for farming silver, but we haven't quite got to that point yet. We're going to have to build up some of these champions, but with two Cold Hearts for that big hit on the Heart Seeker, um, our attack for you know, the, the uh, HP burn, and then we're just going to have to build up with somebody that can tank uh, a little bit there just to get those turns out of the Spiders so we can actually... Uh, go ahead and get that time down on that run so that we can go ahead and start farming some silver. But the problem, like I said, we're running into is we're starting to get a lot of champions. And obviously on an account like this, books can be kind of sparse. We do have four epic books uh, right now, which we've got so many epics though. It's kind of crazy, um, you know, what we're going to have to do here with a lot of these. But, you know, we got a couple champs. I think we managed to fully book Rhonda. And we managed to fully book Stalthus so far. Uh, but I've only had those two legendaries for most of the time until we recently pulled Cavalax and got Artak. Obviously, Razzle Varg is down here, but we're not doing much with him. But we definitely are going to need a ton of epic books. Yes, we actually did put together Yaga. Uh, I could finish maxing him out right now, but I'm kind of tooling around with his build a little bit. We've been using him in Clan Boss. He, he's not as bad as people <laughs> think he is, but <laughs> I know some people don't really... Uh, are not a huge fan of Yaga the Insatiable, but we're doing them on the free-to-play just to kind of have a little bit of fun. But let's go ahead and jump over and pull our shards on this account, see if we get anything new, any new legendaries. Maybe uh, we're at the point of this account where you know there can still be some pretty big pulls at this point, even though we are trying to mainly f flesh out the roster we've created so far. But let's go over there and uh, see if we can't pull anything good. All right, so here we go. Summoning portal again. We got the 10x for Theodore. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if I pulled him here because it's like I always pull the champions. That would be awesome on my main account, on the other accounts. Uh, kind of like the Calvalex here. But you can see we're kind of doing the same thing on this account. We're saving our shards. Now that we've been hitting Nightmare Clan Boss, we have been getting some Sacreds every so often. Usually about one a week. It's not so great on Nightmare. We need to get to that Ultra Nightmare level before we start really getting a lot of shards for the Voids and the Sacreds. But we are getting a ton of Ancients. Uh, I pulled all my Ancients on the last 2x, and I had about 35 or so, and we were able to save up 41 for this one. Uh, we're not really going after Fusions on this account unless we just have a ton of energy. Uh, the reason we went for Razzle Varg is we, we just were playing the game at a time where we were fairly new with the account. We were getting a ton of free stuff, a ton of free resources. Uh, and, you know, we're still kind of getting that through, like, these Arbiter, uh, the anime stuff that's going on with the Arbiter um, show on YouTube which has been interesting, I guess. It hasn't been great, I don't think, but it's been interesting to watch. But we do have um, quite a few Ancients here. So we're going to make sure we, we, we select the right shard this time. Let's go ahead and we'll pull one and then do four ten pulls. If I pull a C oh, I was going to say, if I pull a Seeker on this account, I'm going to be just, uh, it's, it's going to suck. All right, Melga Steel Girl, not a bad champion at all. She's pretty awesome. She's got the remove random buff from an ally here. Um... Random debuff, I'm sorry. On the A1, she's a good shield champion. Continuous heal. We've got a revive. So good reviver for the dwarf faction. She's pretty solid against the Scarab King. Uh, we could probably make use of her uh, once we get to a certain point. I used her a lot on my main free-to-play account. So really pretty solid pull there. And now we can get into our 10 pulls. And again, we're looking for good epics here. We're looking for good epics. Not so much legendaries early, especially on this account, because we don't have... A lot of resources to put into those legendary champions so let's see what we get and if the game torments me by giving me a seeker i'm gonna be really upset <laughs> all right canelia you know i don't have a ton of history with this champion i haven't really used her anywhere uh, she's got some interesting skills obviously 
I know she can, she used to be able to solo some of the Doom Tower stuff, I think, but I've never actually spent any time really uh, using her, so I don't know. Speed or 18% might be good for Faction Wars. I don't know. Don't know if we're going to have time or the resources to build her on this account. But one epic out of, okay, here we go. Oh my god, you've got to be kidding me. So we pulled, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me with this. This game hates me. <laughs> this game hates me. <laughs> this is as bad as having double Kaimar on my main free to play and not having it on my main account. <laughs> I thought the Yago was a big troll, the big troll uh, pull here, but man. Oh, that's funny. But that's great for this account. We'll be able to use him for sure. Uh, definitely. Wow. I knew that was going to happen. Watch us pull like another one. That would be that would just be the ultimate torment. All right, Lockwain, I don't know much about this guy. Sylvan Watchers, we don't have too many of those on this account. It looks pretty cool. So we got Stealing Random Buff on the A1. Attack all enemies. Chance of removing a veil. Removes buffs. Hmm. Ignore shield buffs. Increases accuracy. These, oh, that's an arena battles only. Hmm. Yeah, he kind of strikes me as maybe an arena champion you would use to take buffs, but I don't really know. We're we using here. All right, let's get this over with. These have been terrible shard pulls, giving me the seeker on the account that I don't really need him on. <laughs> ah, Grush, another login champion. That's wonderful. We pulled Grush and Yaga in this, so that's two wasted epics, but actually not a bad champion to get early. Grush is pretty solid. You can use him throughout a lot of the game. Chernar is pretty good. She's not bad. Unfortunately, in this account, we're already stacked in Shadowkin, so I don't know if she's someone we'll be using. But wow, that is, uh, that's not cool. That is not cool at all. Where is he? I cannot believe. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Two and a half years in the other account. Still no seeker. And of course we pull him <laughs> on the 2023 free to play. So I don't know. Maybe we can use him for some clan boss stuff on this account since obviously we don't, uh, we don't have them on the other one. We've got a pain keeper already. We just need the man eaters and we could have a little bit of fun here. So, oh man, that's too bad. That's unfortunate. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed um, these troll shard poles that we got here today on the video. Um, and it's kind of lazy content. I'm just trying to put some stuff together to maybe get the mojo back for making videos. So hope you guys enjoyed these. Let me know how your 2X Ancients went this weekend. Hopefully you had much better luck than I did. So always, if you guys have any questions about anything in the video, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'll do my best to get you an answer as soon as I can. So always, hope you guys are having a great day. Thanks as always for watching, and I will see you again next time.